In today's video, we're going to answer the question, can you go from a Medicare Advantage plan to original Medicare? And we're going to answer that question to help you make a smooth transition, okay? So why would an individual want to go from a Medicare Advantage to original Medicare? Well, there could be several reasons. A lot of times, someone will go into a nursing home and the nursing home would prefer original Medicare. Why is that? Because when you are in a nursing home, say you go into a nursing home because you had hip surgery or something like that and you need therapy, well, the Medicare Advantage company is going to ask for pre-authorization, going to ask for weekly updates to, you know, look at your notes and manage your progress and such. And if you're not showing improvements, you're not doing better or you plateau, you're not really making any changes within your therapy, then the Medicare Advantage company would say it's time for you to discharge. So that could be one reason why an individual want to go back to original Medicare to continue on with therapy and such. Another reason may be simply because you don't like the Medicare Advantage plan. Maybe a doctor or a specialist you want to see is not within network, right? So if that's your situation, you may want to look into looking at other options within your Medicare Advantage plan, right? You know, do an update. Make sure your doctors are in network. Make sure your medications are in network. Make sure that your specialists and such special treatment that you have going on, such as your eye doctors, your, your dental, do you have home health, are you on dialysis, do you take oxygen, and such. Maybe the Medicare Advantage plan that you're currently on is not the right plan. So during the annual enrollment period, you may want to just look and do a dive deep and you know, just find a plan that best fits your particular needs. So I definitely highly recommend that you work with a broker that you trust that can help you navigate that particular situation, such as our office would be more than happy to assist you as well, okay? So that's one scenario where you just not happy with the plan that you're currently on. Maybe that plan is just not meeting your particular needs, okay? So there's so many options out there. And like I said, a skilled nursing home visit may be a reason why you want to go back to original Medicare. The first tip that I want you to remember is the 20%. Remember, original Medicare covers 80% leave you behind 20%, right? So if you want to go back to original Medicare and you can get on a Medicare supplement, I highly recommend that you also get on a Medicare supplement plan as well. The Medicare supplement plan will follow original Medicare and pay the 20% that Medicare leaves behind. However, when you first is eligible for Medicare, the first six months, you don't have to worry about any underwriting questions. You could get on a Medicare supplement plan without any worry about do you have Parkinson's or do you have dementia, do you have AFib? These are health questions that you would have to answer. And if you say yes to these, then you may not be able to get on a Medicare supplement later on, right? So like I said, when you first turn 65, the first six months, there's no health question. So you definitely want to sit down with a broker that understands the supplement plans and understand the underwriting questions. They will show you the series of these questions and if none of these questions apply to you, then of course you could go ahead and apply for a Medicare supplement, okay? Like I said, you could still get on original Medicare without a Medicare supplement, but you will also be responsible for 20% that Medicare leaves behind, which I do not recommend. So if you can get on a Medicare supplement, then get on a Medicare supplement. Now, once you are approved for a Medicare supplement plan, remember your prescription drug coverage, okay? You also want to go ahead and enroll in a Medicare Part D drug plan as well, okay? So you're gonna have original Medicare, you're gonna have your Medicare supplement plan, and you're also going to have 
your prescription drug coverage, which is Medicare Part D. So remember, the Medicare supplement follows original Medicare. So whatever original Medicare covers, the supplement will follow and pay the 20%. So the extra things that you was getting with your Medicare Advantage plan would no longer be the case, such as dental, vision, hearing, and maybe you was getting extra things too, such as transportation and such. You would no longer be able to get these benefits, but you can purchase a standalone plan for dental, vision, and hearing, okay? So overall, the answer is yes, you can go from Medicare Advantage to original Medicare. But like I said, I highly recommend that you get a Medicare supplement plan as well. And that will cover the 20% that Medicare leaves behind. Now let's go over your Medicare Advantage trial right. So this is a period where Medicare allows you to try out a Medicare Advantage plan, right? And you could go back to original Medicare and get yourself a Medicare supplement. So there are two different types of Medicare Advantage trial rights. So let's go over these trial rights. And if you follow under one of these categories, then I would definitely recommend that you do this because you would not have to go through underwriting. You would not have to answer any health questions whatsoever. You could just utilize the trial right special enrollment period. So the first trial right is within the first year of joining Medicare, right? You enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan and within that first year, you decided to switch back to original Medicare. So let's go over this particular trial right in more detail. So you join a Medicare Advantage plan when you were first eligible for Medicare at the age of 65. Within the first year of joining, you decided to switch to original Medicare. Your Medicare Advantage plan must start on the same day as your Medicare Part A and B dates, okay? So this is your right to buy. So you could buy any Medigap, which is Medicare supplement, so you could buy any Medicare supplement policy that's sold by an insurance company within your state, okay? So when must you apply? Must apply for a Medigap policy 60 days before your coverage ends. No more than 63 days after your coverage ends. The second trial right is that you have a Medicare supplement plan, right? and you want to try out a Medicare Advantage, but within that same year, you want to switch back to original Medicare. So this is the second trial right. Let's talk about this trial right in more detail. So scenario number two, so you drop your Medigap policy, which is your Medicare supplement policy to join a Medicare Advantage plan or to switch to a Medicare Select policy. For the first time you've been in the plan for less than a year and you want to switch back to a medicare supplement okay so you have the right to buy a medigap policy you had before you join the medicare advantage plan or a medicare select policy if the same insurance company you had before still sells it if your formal Medigap policy isn't available, you can buy Medigap plan A, B, C, D, F, G, K, or L. That's sold by an insurance company in your state. So if your formal Medigap policy isn't available, then you could purchase supplement plan A, B, C, D, F, G, K, or L. Now, remember, plans C and F are no longer available to people new to Medicare after January the 1st, 2020, okay? So remember that. However, if you were eligible for Medicare before January the 1st, 2020, but haven't yet enrolled, you may be eligible to buy plan C or F. People new to Medicare on or after January the 1st, 2020 have the right to buy plan D or G instead of plan C 
or F. So remember that that's a disclaimer there. So when can you go back to your Medigap policy? So you have 60 days before the date of your coverage ends, no more than 63 days after your coverage ends. Alrighty. So in today's video, we answered the question, can you go back to original Medicare from a Medicare Advantage plan? Hopefully we answered this question clearly. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer your question. If you need any help with any of our services, give our office a call. We do not charge for our services and we love helping individuals understand Medicare. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone that needs this information, please share this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to see me again and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.